What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. We're going to be talking about Chucky in this video here again today. So Stealth has put out another tweet of rumors that I want to address. More specifically, the second point of this rumor from Don Mancini, who allegedly spoke to a fan at a recent convention appearance where he insisted that the next movie will not be a prequel. Now, I wanted to discuss this because of the fact that I've been saying, well, kind of like beating a dead horse at this point. The same thing that I've been saying. The next movie, even if it's not a prequel, if it's a sequel, there's one clear thing you can do because the TV show is unintentionally, maybe it's intentional. I feel like it's unintentional. It's setting up the next thing that's viable to see in a Chucky movie. And that is Lexi having her own film with Jake and Devin taking even more of a backseat because you've already been giving them a backseat in the third season. That's not to say that they can't stick around, but Lexi has, again, more skin in the game. She has a lot more connective tissue that would warrant her to be the leading lady in a Chucky film. This can be set on her prom night. This can be set sometime during her senior year in high school, maybe shortly after her graduation of high school. And what you can do is explore a woman who has still been searching for her sister for all this time. Now, I think in between the events of season one and two and now to three, we've maybe had a year or two pass. So they should be going into either their junior year or senior year of high school, I think. You could do a movie in which Lexi is trying to move on with graduating high school, but in the back of her mind, she's still worried about Caroline. Chucky himself knows that Lexi is going to inevitably come after him again and wants to tie up loose ends anyway and wants to get back at Lexi for what her, Devin, and Jake did for all these years messing up his plans. Now, the ultimate thing that he could do is pull the same shit he tried to pull with Nico. Well, he got away with that, actually. He can pull the same thing. Lexi can be framed for the shenanigans that Chucky pulls in this movie. And that is what the motive for Chucky will be in an effort to get back at them for ruining his plans to take over the world that he had set out in season one, all the way up, of course, until what they messed up in season two. Three. Even though they got away, they're inevitably going to mess it up again. So he's going to take them out and get back at them. You can have Tiffany in it. You can have Glenn and Glenda in it. Gigi. And Lexi should carry the whole entire movie. I feel like Lexi is the one that has a lot more to do with Chucky right now. Considering that her sister is out there. Yes, I know Jake and Devin have also been suffering thanks to Chucky as well. But the fact of the matter remains, the only thing that they really had connective tissue about was Mrs. Fairchild and we didn't even get to experience this relationship Mrs. Fairchild clearly was having with the trio for enough time for me to even be remotely invested in Jake and Devin trying to get revenge on Mrs. Fairchild and using that as their reason to still be going after Chucky but a sibling someone we've seen Lexi spend a lot of time with they've had a pretty rocky relationship of course because Lexi herself has been growing as a person she seems to genuinely be concerned about her little sister that is something that is a lot more easy to connect to than a, a situation where Jake and Devin maybe want to get back at Chucky over Fairchild someone who should have had more screen time and just didn't then you killed her way too fast so her death didn't mean a damn thing but sister searching for her sister i can get down with that and i would set it again on maybe a prom night maybe sometime after high school and you can even kill off jake and devin if you want to they can kill off jake and devin that can be something to propel the story forward when it comes to lexi and her growth considering all the things she's been through with those two and ultimately chucky can reveal that his that his plan with all of the other deaths that happened during the movie the ultimate plan is to make lexi look like she's gone insane she's lost her mind all because she has still not gotten over her sister she wants to find her sister and it made her snap that can be the thing that it's framed as so she won't get to graduate she won't get to do a lot of things because of chucky now i will say i don't think that he should be able to successfully get away with this i think that chucky in the end should just die and many people would say well you should have some og characters around for that i don't think it's necessary to have any og characters around for chucky's death anymore they've had plenty of opportunities to be around for chucky's death i just think it's time for 
Chucky to be bid farewell and ride off into the sunset in some type of high note. A movie with Lexi searching for Caroline and it have a scary tone, maybe bring in some elements of Bride of Chucky. I think that could be a perfect end for this franchise and Chucky as we know it. You can argue that yes, Andy should be there, yada, yada, yada. Again, the fact of the matter is Andy has had so many opportunities to have an appropriate send off and they're not if they're not going to if they're going to mess up the send off that they got in season two, I'm not interested in seeing that. I think what they got in season two was as good of a send off as we will get for Andy. And I'm not interested in seeing Andy come back any more than what we already saw from that fake out in season three. So you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. Do you think that would be a nice trajectory to take for a movie? What would you do for the next Chucky movie if it indeed is not going to be a prequel? I've also, of course, talked about how you could set it with an entirely new family and then a twist of the story could be Mike Norris's family is the family we're actually centered on and it could be about Chucky going after other loose ends. Maybe not this time Lexi. Maybe you can save that for the last movie. But let me know what you think about all of this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'll have me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.